Want to do a quick review on this Azuno cylinder compression tester kit ACT14C. I bought it to replace uh, just the old digital style right here. Excuse me, analog style right here. Uh, just to upgrade. So I bought it on Amazon for like 30 bucks and tried to use it, and then I didn't have great results. So I just wanted to show you what I come up with. So this is inside the kit. You get your adapters for different sizes. Uh, it does come with basically the standard size spark plug cylinder wall hole and then you got these two that you can just plug in and then you've got your unit which it comes with batteries um, so you can put your batteries in and, and go but let's do some testing with it all right so i've got it hooked up into cylinder number four uh, it's got the nice little digital gauge right there i'm gonna go ahead and give it some cranks and see what we come up with says 61.6 all right I reset it let's try it again sixty-two psi so if that was correct this car wouldn't be running at all or run like complete garbage but actually it runs pretty well. Oh, look, look what happened. I was getting ready to show you something anyway, but I was just trying to unthread this from the spark plug hole, you know, just going counterclockwise with it, and it literally came off of the fitting. There's the rest of the fitting down the spark plug hole. So, I'm going to take my long-handled hose pliers and see if I can fish it out. Alright, so I was able to take this and loosen it up on that fitting. There's some teeth, if you will. And then I had to use my mini pliers here, mini needle nose, and then fish out the fitting, pull it out. So that's not in there real well. I mean, it's great if you can just use your finger on this or tighten it, but when you have that kind of depth, you just can't do that. So what I was going to show was comparable to my old one I've had for 15 years on this fitting. It's still a two-piece, but it is connected so well that I never have a problem just using the tension of the hose to turn this to get it out because it doesn't have to be in there very tight at all. All right, so I just pushed that back in there and I'm going to put it back in to the spark plug hole again because I do want to try to get the best reading I can off of this because earlier I got like 90 PSI on that cylinder, which I know was not correct. So let me try it again and see if I get a better result. All right, I'm going to try it again. Ninety-three point nine. Alright, so let's do a comparable test with this my old school one right here. Just for me unthreading that back out of the hole. You see where the hose has started to disconnect, where it should be up close and tight. Okay, let's try this one. Hundred and fifty PSI. Yeah. I've had this for a long time and it's always read correctly. So this new one Azu Azuno. Okay, so this one read hundred and what hundred and sixty PSI, hundred and fifty eight, whatever that says. And this one read ninety three or some garbage. So this would lead you lead you down the wrong path of trying to fix something if you had a problem. So this will be a 
return back to Amazon and probably end up in one of those damn bin things where you dig through for a dollar. All right, hope helped you out. Thanks.